Hey writers, and welcome back to our second writing prompt of 2021. Last time we were together, we talked a lot about writing more honestly and figuring out ways that we can make sure that our storytelling is unique to us and our own perspective and our own voice. But what if you want to write about something that maybe you're not as familiar with? Or what if it's a style that you're really attracted to that you want to try writing in, but you're not really sure where to get started or how to even maybe write in that style? Well, I think it's important to, you know, again, pull from personal experiences and pull from my own perspectives to really emphasize the uniqueness of our voice. I also think that there's nothing wrong with having influences. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, going through and looking at your favorite books and your favorite authors and looking at quality that you really appreciate from their writing and figuring out a way to incorporate them into your own writing. Of course, you don't want to seem like you're just straight up plagiarizing another author or another book but you know taking these very basic qualities or these very basic different style markers and figuring out a way to incorporate that into your own work i think even more so enriches your own voice because not only are you speaking from your perspective but now you have this set of influences that's sort of compounded in your own mind and in your own writing and that's kind of what I want to make this writing prompt about today. So there was almost a bit two parts to this, and you can do either or or both parts. But a fun exercise that um, could be nice for y'all to try to, to start out with is think about a favorite story that you have. And if you can, maybe try to think of something a little bit on the shorter side, maybe not a series, maybe just a singular story. And think about why it's your favorite story. Think about, you know, all of these different traits that you like, all of these, you know, different events that happen that you, you're really drawn to and really captivated by. And think about the writer and how the writer's style is incorporated into that story. Then, just an exercise, just for yourself. I want you to take that story and rewrite it yourself and try to get as close as you can without just ripping off the story and copying what they say word for word. Try to take that story into your mind and write it as if you were the one writing the story and see how close to the same feeling you get. See how the story remains the same, see how it changes and, you know, compare those things. If at the end you find that it's not quite as close as you wanted it to be, ask yourself what that is. Ask yourself what's missing. And then for the next step, what I want you to do is to take five qualities from that story or from a writer if you want to focus more on a writer instead of a singular story and take five qualities that they use in their writing that you really like and that you really appreciate and that you want to see about maybe using in your own writing. Then, with those five qualities, incorporate all of them into a story of your own. But this time, this will be your own unique story. You won't be trying to rewrite their story or anything like that. You'll just be focusing on your own writing and your own events and your own perspective. But now, bringing in these qualities with it and bringing in that influence. And that's it. That's the writing prompt for this week. I hope you all enjoy. I hope you have fun. I hope you're staying healthy. I hope you're staying safe and well. And I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy.